Symbiotic relationships between marine creatures are crucial to many species' survival underwater, and nowhere is this more apparent than around sea anemones. On the mucky slopes, large communities of saddleback clownfish shelter in Haddon's carpet anemones in a classic example of mutual symbiosis. The anemones' stinging tentacles provide protection for the clownfish, which are immune to the sting. The clownfish chase away polyp-eating predators and their faeces provide food for the anemone. At Nudie Retreat, this juvenile saddleback clownfish shelters alone in a sebe anemone. The fish swims constantly to stay still in the current. In this sebe anemone, a slightly older saddleback clownfish is joined by a holthuish shrimp the shrimp also uses the anemone's tentacles for protection, but the anemone doesn't appear to benefit in any way. This is known as a commensal relationship, and the shrimps in this group are known as commensal shrimps or partner shrimps. This long tentacle anemone plays host to a number of the slightly different magnificent shrimp. Tube anemones are also found in isolation on the mucky seabed, and this example is home to a solitary magnificent shrimp which lives at its base. These graceful commensal shrimps are found in a night anemone, one of their typical habitats. This anemone mimics corals during the daytime and only extends its mouth to feed at night. It has an extremely potent sting that immobilizes prey. The venom doesn't affect the shrimps, but is dangerous to humans. It leaves ulcers in the skin and can even cause kidney failure. Researchers have suggested that the venom may be useful in developing medical drugs. These shrimps seem more interested in cleaning themselves than any third party. This warty sea cucumber is also known as a curry fish because of its popularity in Asian cooking. Sea cucumbers such as this often host emperor shrimps. The shrimps are usually found in couples. The male is smaller and has consistent coloration with white markings down its back. The female is larger and the coloration is more variable. The shrimps hang head down and feed on detritus picked off the seabed as the host creeps along. This pair of emperor shrimps is travelling on a synaptid sea cucumber, sometimes known as a medusa worm. The female is completely lacking the white spots that are usually present. Eggs can clearly be seen under the abdomen of this large female. The brood is protected by her shell and her swimming legs which are folded up. As well as sea cucumbers, emperor shrimps also hitchhike on larger sea slugs such as Spanish dancers. This pretty tube anemone is feeding on the plankton brought by the current at Critter Hunt. These anemones often have squat shrimps living around their tube. The female is twice the size of the male. The distinctive coloration and movement make these shrimps very popular with aquarists, who generally know them as sexy shrimps. This orange mantis shrimp waiting in its burrow in the sand is a type of spearing mantis shrimp. Its front claws are sharp and barbed and are used to stab its prey at great speed. Mantis shrimps have perhaps the most advanced eyes in the entire animal kingdom. Whereas human eyes have three types of color receptors, 
mantis shrimps have no less than 16 different types, so they can see many colours that other animals can't, including deep shades of ultraviolet. The eyes of spearing mantis shrimps, like this golden mantis shrimp, tend to be elongated, whereas the eyes of smashing mantis shrimps, such as this pink-tailed variety, tend to be more circular. Smashing mantis shrimps have an extremely hard pair of clubs at the end of their front claws that they use to smash or stun prey. They are made from the same material as dental implants and can strike with a speed of some 80 kilometers per hour. This is a peacock mantis shrimp at one of the entrances to its U-shaped burrow. This species can grow up to 18 centimeters long and is common across the whole Indo-Pacific region. Another crustacean, the elegant squat lobster, lives commensally on the arms of crinoid feather stars.